For far too long, Africa's story has been told by non-Africans who in some cases have no real interest in projecting a strong Africa. Addressing that is the motive behind the Africa Factbook, which seeks to be the first of its kind composite of locally generated information on and about the continent. There is an ongoing global war of information, a battle of the minds of the people, and Africa has to offer something about Africa. Uh, we, we, we complain a lot that uh, these ones are saying uh, bad things or incorrect things about Africa, but what have you been doing? The African Union, which endorsed the fact book at a summit in Kigali in 2016, is jointly implementing the project. It believes availing previously scant data about Africa will inform appropriate policy formulation and help bridge a knowledge gap that has retarded the continent's development. The Africa fact book is the epitome of change in Africa. It is about new data collection and a new narrative that reflects Africa's diversity. The Africa Factbook will make it possible for Africans to tell a new narrative about Africa. Africa is transforming. With 54 countries, each with a story to tell, there will certainly be no shortage of content for this fact book. Getting all that information together, though, is a challenge that the authors say will both be exciting and groundbreaking, and one that they're up for. <laughs> A team of 200 researchers is being assembled to produce the first edition of the fact book by January 2019. It's expected to be a game changer. The Africa fact book aims to be as frequently consulted as other popular sources like Google. Young people these days just go on the Google. Why not go on the Africa fact book in the next year or two? Five years from now. The Africa Fact Book will be the most used reference book on anything African. Once out, the Africa Fact Book is expected to create the link between the continent's rich history, its rapidly evolving present, and bright future. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.